Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Shayna Lee and you're here on It's Me Shayna Lee. We are going to be doing a skincare routine. Excuse the echo. Um, it's a very dreary day. Um, autumn is quickly approaching. I have on this two-piece little furry number and it's super cute but if I do get hot I might take it off and if these straps bother me I might pull that down. Um, we are going to get into this. I'm really excited to, to talk about my skincare routine because I feel like it's been a long time since I talked about it here on my channel and my face is so tight right now. I just washed my face. So I got out of the shower. Um, oh, feel free to subscribe at any point in time. You can pause this video real quick, subscribe, check out my other stuff, and then come back onto here if you want. Join the Fig Fam because we welcome everybody here. We spread nothing but peace, love, and positivity, yo. I washed my face with a CeraVe facial bar soap. I keep that in my shower and, um, cleanser for, um, when I have makeup on or when I'm out of the shower and this is a new product for me but I am trying it out and I'm really excited because it has a lot of great benefits so we are going to actually put on my skincare today. I'd like to start off with this Pixie Skin Treats. It's a Clarity Mist. It has Sika? Sika? I don't know. C-I-C-A and Hyaluronic Complex um, Clarifying Mist. I find that this one in particular, the blue one, feels really nice on my skin and it doesn't leave um, a type of tightness. It just, it just hydrates very well. So I like to just give it a tilt and do a layer of that. I don't open my eyes until <laughs> Most of it's dry. The Pixie uh, Lavender Spray right here. This is Dream E-Mist. It's the Jasmine and Lavender Overnight Mist. I like to use this primarily, yeah, in the PM when I'm about to go to sleep or sometimes I mist it onto like my chest because my chest isn't like as sensitive as my face. Ooh, it smells so good. I'm a sensitive girl. I break out over anything in reaction rashes. Um, I can't use products such as witch hazel. If it contains witch hazel, I cannot use it. Um, I just, my skin freaks out about certain things and right now it's okay. I do see some areas that are patchy. I have patchy redness. I have skin, everybody has skin. Skin comes in so many different varieties, all right? So what works for me might not work for you, but if we are very similar in skin tone texture or just if we have similar skin, this might work for you. What I like to do is cleanse with this Pacifica Kale Detox Deep Cleansing Face Wash, Evergreens and Powerhouse Antioxidants. It says oily and blemish prone skin types, um, sulfate free, 100% vegan, cruelty free. And I really love that uh, Pacifica is found in my grocery store now. I got this literally in the grocery store. These products, if they are sent to me or gifted, I will let you know. I bought with my own money, so this is my opinion. First hand, I bought this myself. And so what I do with my cleanser is just the three method. If I'm wearing makeup, I cleanse first, and then um, I will cleanse a second time, and then I will cleanse a last third time so I do the three method I just I don't want to call it triple cleansing because that just sounds wrong but if I'm wearing makeup 
I don't feel like when I'm rubbing in the first layer that I'm cleaning my face. That's just taking off the first layer of makeup. The second round is really getting into my skin. The third round is getting near my eyes and like around the perimeters and just rinsing everything off. <laughs> now that that is all in my skin, I'm going to take my Derma E Ultra Hydrating Dewy Skin Serum. It has hyaluronic acid and squalene and green tea. It says it instantly illuminizes and moisturizes your skin. 72 hour protection and it is also 100% vegan, soy free, gluten free, recycled and not and not tested on animals. So what I like to do is one squirt of that. I really love that this has squalene in it. Squalene is really good for the the bounciness of your skin. So I just use my three fingers right here and I just rub that in, pat it in, and this absorbs super quickly and really nicely. I always bring everything down to the neck too. And I believe I also found this in my local drugstore. Okay, that is completely in my skin already. It feels really nice. It's like not leaving anything. And we are going to move on to another Pacifica product that I just recently purchased that I love already. This is, um, again, a kale smoothie um, line. So as you can see, this is the green, the green, and then the product I'm going to talk about next is also purple. So I like to use this next because it's a really light, slippy formula. It's a like liquidy gel, um, but it's called a refining lotion. So I use this almost as a serum. So when you put skincare on, you want to do serums before lotions or moisturizers so that the absorption can evenly sink into your skin. You don't want to layer on the wrong way. All right, so I'm just going to give that like two seconds to sink into my skin. Um, another honorable mention that I will mention, I've used it a few times, but I had to cut back on the amount that I use it, is this Pixie Vitamin C Capsule Care Brightening Face Serum. I'm not really big on brightening your skin. I don't think skin needs to be bright, <laughs> bright, but, um, I love what this does to my skin. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't have a drink with me and my voice is getting a little hoarse. This makes your skin glow and just, it's this instant reaction. It's this, not, not reaction, okay, hold on, wrong word. Great, it just makes you look like you're refreshed, like you just got out of a spa. Like it is a day and night before and after when I use this, but because it is vitamin C and my skin kind of does not do well with citrus, um, I only use this like maybe once a month. It's a little capsule that you puncture. So it comes in a glass little tube like this. And I have a lot of these. I haven't used one in a minute, but they're kind of, they, <laughs> they look like this and you twist off the top and it's just such a very little amount you squeeze it onto your face and it is really a beautiful result and it's good for your skin i haven't freaked out um my skin hasn't freaked out on it only only when i used it like two or three days in a row that is what you don't want to do with this I tend to accidentally do that sometimes when I like a product's result, I want to keep using it in any way tight. It doesn't feel wet. It doesn't, it's just really nice and it's not giving me vavoom yet though. Okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. Next product is this Pacifica Vegan Ceramide Barrier Face Lotion that has lipids and marshmallows, marshmallow, um, and I really like this because, again, I just kind of do... Oh, this thing keeps twisting. I think I accidentally broke this. There we go. I do about, <laughs> I do about that much. And it's really lightweight again. 
and it sinks into my skin really nicely. So this is, it has a very gentle, gentle aroma. It's, it doesn't smell chemically very sensitive to everything you need, like vegan, gluten-free, non, non agitating. You know what I mean? You need all of, all of this list of beware because some products have that in it. Me moving forward, we're not done yet, folks. So now that this has been in my skin, it feels nice. I'm going to give it another second or two. The two products that I kind of juggle between in this sector of my skincare are, everybody has talked about this. This is the COSRX Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream formulated with snail secretion mucin helps naturally create a peeling glow of healthy skin. So if I feel like my skin um, needs a boost of hydration, I will use this. And then if I want to kind of, if I want my skin almost to, I don't know, I, I don't know when, if I'm not using this one, I guess I'm using this one. This is the Manuka Lane Bee Venom Facelift with vitamin E, Manuka Honey, and Hyaluronic Acid. Um, if you are allergic to bees or if you don't want to put bee venom on your face, I totally get it. Um, this is made in New Zealand and it contains um, hyaluronic acid, manuka honey, and bee venom to keep skin looking young and healthy. Um, I do use this one more often because I am very dry, but when I do feel like I want some resurfacing or just some zhuzh to my skin, I will use the bee venom if I'm feeling very tired or um, if I know that I won't be going anywhere, my skin fluctuates in, in how it wants to react. It hasn't broken out, it hasn't itched, it hasn't burned, it hasn't stung, it hasn't done anything while using this. So um, I think what I want to do today, I'll probably use this today. It has a really interesting texture. Here, look, let me show you guys what I'm doing. It has a whipped type of texture. It smells really nice, like a oatmeal-like, oatmeal-like smell to it. I just tap that in and I kind of do a little of this. I, I don't know. <laughs> if bee venom actually like works like that, but I am nearing 30. <gasps> I know, oh my gosh, she, she said how old she is. I don't care, I don't care, I, I don't mind aging. Um, yes, I've gotten Botox and lip filler in the past, but um, as you can see, I haven't gone in a very long time. I still have all of my muscles up in there and lines and whatnot so I don't really care but if I could do a little bit of preventative work I will try face lotion um, this is embryo Elise and this is the hydrating cream this is just a hydrating facial cream I literally have a whole nother big jug of this as backup and I just kind of pump it into this one so that I can um, save product and also take it on the go this is how much I put in this one tends to be thinner, so I like to put it right on top and rub it into my neck and chest and maybe a little on the ear. I feel just seals the deal. So what I do is take my pinky, dip it right in there, that's as much as I want, and then I tap like three times or four times. And I rub really hard and fast, get that energy going. And then I pat it on my face and that's how I know I'm all done. Sometimes I feel like I want a little bit more. So I'll just go back in and warm it up. And I'll do that much. And I will put some on my lips.
this I do put just right below my eyes where it's a little dark. Um, after trial and error, I learned that eye cream is just not for me. Um, I put it too close to my waterline. I tear, it burns, it gets in my eyes. So I just tap a little bit of oil just right in the in the areas right below my waterline. That's about it for my skincare routine, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and going through this process. I hope this helped you a little bit if you are a sensitive skin person. And um, join the Fig Fam. Again, we welcome everyone here. I will see you in my next video where I give myself a curly haircut, which is coming up right after this video. I love you so much. Take care and goodbye.